In this video, you'll learn how simple it is to animate this loader using hold keyframes for the stroke offset animation and make this circle complete its path in a few steps. Let's start by placing the playhead at the first second in the timeline and choose Stroke Offset from the animator's list. Then go to the stroke properties where I'll need the length of the circle. I will copy its length for both offset and dashes. Then I'm going to place the second keyframe at the fifth second where I'll set the offset back to zero. Okay, so the stroke offset animation looks good, but I need it to start from the top. In this case, I can fix this by simply rotating the circle 90 degrees to the left. Grab this circle from one of the corners and rotate it while holding down the shift key. Next, select the first keyframe and to convert it into a hold keyframe, go to the easing panel and choose step end. You can see how the line connecting the two keyframes changed to a dashed line, meaning that the smooth transition between the keyframes was removed. The line will appear completed only when the playhead will reach the second keyframe. Basically, it will play the stroke offset animation jumping directly from the first state to the second state in one step, which will happen at the ending keyframe. But of course, we want to see the line animating. First, let's hit undo, and let's play some steps every half a second between the keyframes. This way, the line will fill in incrementally and complete the path in eight equal steps. To do this, all you need is to add new keyframes. Let's add the first one at 1.5 seconds. Go another half second and add another one. And continue this process for every half second. You can also use the keys Alt-F or Option-F on your keyboard to add the keyframes faster. Now, if I play the animation with the regular keyframes, you won't see any difference. Let's select the animator with all its keyframes and go back to the easing panel to choose the step end function. Let's play it again and see how it looks. Great, the stroke offset is now filling in in steps thanks to the hold keyframes, exactly how I wanted it. Now, for one last touch, I will also add a rotate animation to this circle and have it spin while animating the stroke offset. With the playhead at one second, press Shift R on the keyboard to add the rotate animator. Then drag the playhead all the way to second five and rotate the circle 180 degrees clockwise in the same direction as the stroke offset. And now let's give it a spin. So this is how you can animate using hold keyframes in SVJater. Make sure you follow me on the other videos to discover more animation features.